Sandbox open beta is likely to be coming next week. What day specifically, we don't know. More information will probably be available on the dev blog at the end of the month, which is at the end of the week. Before I get into it, click the like button and subscribe. These videos take a lot of effort to make, so subscribing helps out a ton. And you'll be able to see my videos as soon as they go live. Calling this an open beta is kind of a clickbait scam. It's not really an open beta. Yes, basically anyone will be able to get the game. There will probably be limitations on how many people can claim a key per day, and there might even be other limitations like a specific hour requirement in Gary's mod. The beta will be completely free though. You won't have to pay. You'll log in to the Facepunch website, and they'll have a page set up so that you can claim the game there. It'll automatically be added to your Steam account, and you won't have to enter a key. Again, all of this is subject to change. We don't know exactly how it's going to work yet, but we'll find at the end of this week on the Sandbox Dev Vlog. Now I'll go over some common questions people have and explain some of the details of Sandbox. So firstly, this isn't Gary's mod. You can't just make your own game mode by combining a bunch of add-ons. You have to actually know how to program and make assets to make something decent. If you get the game on the beta, do you get to keep it when it releases? I don't know. The game might even be free. We have no clue. Can you mount other Source 2 games like Half-Life Alex? No, you can't. I'll talk about this more later in the video. How do add-ons work? So currently, there aren't regular add-ons set up yet. This will probably be added in the future. Right now, there's just maps and game modes. You have to go to the Sandbox dev website, and you can upload it either with GitHub or directly to the Facepunch website with the zip file. Are there cartoon models placeholder? No, they're not. These will probably be the default player models in the game. Obviously, game modes can change them to be whatever they want. They don't have to use these models. If you've seen my video, the first real sandbox game mode, you'll see it's on the speed dial game mode, which uses custom player models. It's also a third-person top-down game, so you're not just restricted to regular first-person shooter games. When is the release date for sandbox? We don't know when the final release date is going to be. Neither does Face Punch. It's whenever the game is finished. But the open beta is likely to be starting next week. Open beta with quotes because it's not actually an open beta. How big is the file size of the game? I think right now the game is about 5 gigabytes. The game isn't that big. But when you join a server, obviously you're going to be downloading all the add-ons from it. So that can add up over time. What are the minimum specs? There aren't really minimum specs for this game right now. There probably won't be minimum specs for this game. It's like Gary's mod in that it heavily depends on the game mode and the server. But in general, if you can run Gary's mod, you can run Sandbox. What do I do if I encounter an issue or a bug? Well, first ask people about it and make sure it's actually a real issue. And then you can go to the Sandbox bug tracker GitHub page and see if somebody already made an issue about it. If they didn't make an issue, you can make one, and hopefully the bug will get fixed. Don't spam or post stupid things on the GitHub page, they'll get you banned. Here's what to expect from this open beta with quotes. Again, it's not an open beta. People are just calling it that, so I'm gonna call it that too. There are a lot of bugs with the game. Not everything is finished. As you can see here, the water is just a very early placeholder. It looks like the water in Construct isn't even working right now. It's disabled or broken. There aren't really any game modes to play. If I look at the menu here, the only real non-meme game modes are Sandbox, Speed Dial, Pool, but Pool is a tabletop game. It's not really what you would think of as a game mode. I'm going to be fixing up my NPC zombie modes, so it'll be functional by the time people start getting access to the game. Battle of the Terries is the Battle Royale mode. It's pretty buggy, but it technically works. I played it last night and it was actually pretty fun. A lot of these game modes though are actually out of date and they don't work. So the game frequently updates, sometimes with big changes that break the game and everyone's game mode. Now not everybody can go in and update their game mode for every single update. My death run mode has been broken for months and I don't plan on fixing it. The networking in this game is currently very bad. If you have high ping, you're not going to be able to shoot people. You might hit 5% of your shots, if you're lucky. There's also bugs with the collisions. It's nowhere near complete. They actually just added a settings menu right before I started recording this video. So in my notes for this video, I actually have written down that there is no settings menu. There aren't a lot of assets for the game. There's some assets from Rust, but most of these are probably going to be removed. These are mostly placeholder and they don't like, they don't work very well in Source 2. They were made for Unity, and a lot of them just aren't very pleasant to work with in Hammer. They are working on adding more models though. If I sort by only the core mod, 
I can see all these default models. These ones will likely be in the final game, although it is subject to change. They're constantly adding new models, like these benches are... I haven't seen this bench model yet. This is a new bench model. If I sort by materials, here are basically all of the good materials that we have right now. Obviously more are going to be added later, but it takes time to make assets. There's some from Rust, but they might end up getting removed. I've already made tutorials for making custom materials and models, so you can check those out. It's very easy to port stuff to Sandbox. For example, Lost Haven from Mafia, Vice City, and Liberty City have been ported from GTA. I'll show off Lost Haven. This map is actually huge. The thing with porting assets though is it's not always legal and it might get taken down for a copyright strike, a DMCA takedown, because you're just stealing the map from the game. Same with any other assets, including assets from Half-Life Alex. There's no mounting games in Sandbox. Having to buy a different game just to play Sandbox is kind of a stupid idea, and it's very annoying in Gary's Mod because a lot of people don't actually have Counter-Strike Source, so they just see errors on a bunch of maps, unless if they illegally download the assets. If you want to make maps for Sandbox, I'm going to make a very basic how to start mapping quick start guide this week. For a full tutorial series, you can check out Eagle One's Half-Life Alex mapping guide. It's for Half-Life Alex, but it's basically the same thing for Sandbox. Most of the entities are different though. They're actually remaking a lot of the entities in C-sharp so people can edit them for their game modes, but they're not just remaking it one-to-one. -one. They're improving it and changing them. For example, the door entities, all the door entities have been merged together to make ent underscore door. It didn't make any sense to have all those same door entities, just with slightly different functions. Coding is very simple in Sandbox. It's in C Sharp and you can use whatever IDE you want. I use Visual Studio. There aren't a lot of Sandbox specific coding resources right now. I'll probably make a coding tutorial series later on, but I need more experience myself with coding. Basically any C Sharp coding tutorial should work. And you can look at the Sandbox wiki if you're confused on anything, or look at the official Face Punch game modes. Those are there for you to use as resources. Feel free to take any of the code or assets from them for your own projects, but don't steal code from people other than Face Punch. The Face Punch game modes are literally default game modes for you to edit and do whatever you want with. Here are some general resources for Sandbox. So there are three Discord servers I recommend. There's the official Sandbox Discord. I feel like this Discord is probably going to get spammed. There's also the Sandbox Modding Discord. I made this one. It has dedicated channels and roles that you can select. And also there's the Eagle One Discord. This is made by the people who made Speed Dial, the only real somewhat complete game mode in Sandbox right now. It's the one with custom characters. Other resources include the Face Punch Wiki. I have more resources on my website. It's gvar.net. This isn't finished, but I do have a big list of resources on here. Well, that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Twitter page for real-time sandbox news. Also, if you're watching this video as soon as it goes live, I am live streaming right now on Twitch. I'm working on my zombie game mode, so come check it out.